guys, it's Elizabeth in the library and I'm here today with how to look good on Zoom in three tips. So number one, camera angle. Camera angle, super important, right? We don't want people looking at us like this on Zoom all the time or the dreaded looking up your nose. That one's no fun. So camera angles are super important. If possible, it's always better to have your computer a little bit higher with your camera because this actually helps you look a little thinner in the face. It's an old photography trick. But not all of us have this. We don't all want to sit on the floor during our Zoom meetings, so just things to consider. So when you're looking at your camera angle, and you have to think, usually in Zoom, you kind of want to fill the camera with your face. Think about our selfies, kind of how we do our photos that way. But there's also the whole option to be way back here so everyone can see your background. So maybe then you're super small, maybe not the best thing for Zoom. The other thing is we don't always want to see this much of people, right? Oh, hey, I'm on Zoom, but here's the rest of my my background, what's going on there. Camera angles, super important. Another thing to consider, I don't know if you see it, but my forehead's cut off a little bit. Normally in photographs, you'll notice that sometimes we cut off parts of our face. It's totally normal, and this way you have more of your face in the picture versus way back here or just the nose shot. The other thing to consider when we're talking about our backgrounds is in Zoom, sometimes you can put a photo in your background so you don't have to worry about everything else that's happening here, but that's something to think about. What's your background saying about you? Hmm. I hope mine's saying, hey, look at my books, I'm a librarian. So that was the first tip, number one, camera angle and position. So the second tip is lighting. Lighting has different temperatures, so sometimes you'll see a yellow light, a blue light, you'll notice that you have shadows on your face. In this case, I'm next to a window, I have a side light. Just look at the lighting. Lighting's really important in Zoom because it really helps you look good or look like a ghost. So if possible, move around or maybe take a lampshade off of a light near you and just really think about that. Also, your computer a lot of times is gonna compensate for light behind you. So if you're somewhere kind of dark and there's somewhere bright behind you, your computer is gonna compensate and make the background brighter and you're going to be darker. So you want to be look good, you got to think about your lighting. So that's number two, lighting. So number three, now this one's kind of important because I was just on a Zoom call and I was really laughing about this, is people don't know where to look, right? So in Zoom, they're usually looking at themselves like, oh, I'm looking at myself in Zoom. Okay, there I am. Now here's my face or I'm looking at myself in Zoom and I'm looking up at my nose. You can see it. Really try to look at the camera when you're paying attention in Zoom. And one of the tricks I do, truthfully, is I put a little post-it note right by my camera. So I try to stare at it when I'm supposed to be paying attention in Zoom. So that's good. The next thing is in your video, do you have to have your video on for Zoom or can you have your photo? So sometimes you might need to just turn off your video and just have your photo up. If you're allowed to do that, consider that as an option because you don't have to sit there and stare at Zoom and look like you're always interested. The third thing kind of here in my where to look is a kind of a tip, which is put Zoom on mute. Because if you're in Zoom and something makes a noise, what happens is Zoom will bring your camera, your video feed to the front. So if you have it on Zoom and your cat walks around or someone walks through and says, says something, it won't automatically trigger you to be the one that comes up. It will just keep you muted so other people will show up. And that's my trick. So those are super easy, really quick. Number one, angle. Two, lighting and three, where to look, and then putting Zoom on mute if possible. So get out there, have a great time Zooming, and uh, we'll see you next time. If you have any questions for the library, we're totally open, we're 100% online, and we're here to help. Have a great day, bye.